Hi, I'm Doug Cogswell from Advisor Solutions, and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about key metrics of major giving fundraising. So when we break this problem apart, we put it on two dimensions. One is metrics, and the other is process. And when they both work together, we find our clients get the best performance. So let's look at metrics first. Typically, uh, people are measuring activities, often field officer visits in the fiscal year. Everybody measures those. Uh, another common measure is the outcome or the revenue. Uh, but we really think that if you can focus on performance drivers, things like what's the pace of movement of my prospects through the portfolio, are people getting stuck in certain stages, am I asking at the right levels, you're going to have a lot better performance. That ties into the process. So uh, typically the process are one-on-one -on -one meetings. They're infrequent, sometimes just once a year, sometimes quarterly. Uh, but no, no more often than that. And it's a kind of a concept of a good or a bad threshold, like, hey, you're not doing enough visits. You've done 40 in the fiscal year to date. Let's step it up. So what will happen is often the field officer will go out and do a bunch more visits, maybe with the same person over and over again. And they get the visit number, but they actually haven't really moved the portfolio uh, forward. So we would call this quadrant uh, tactical. And I would also call it inconsequential. I mean, when we look at this, and the research we've done on it, is people are saying, this is what they're doing, but they're not getting the results they expect from the discussions in the portfolio. If you move to a more uh, empowered process, transparent teams with discussions, regular meetings around performance drivers up in this quadrant, stories and best practices come out. So we would call, if you can do these two together, strategic, and transformative. And what starts happening as you do this work, you have these strategic measures and you have these empowered team discussions with field officers in a room together on a regular basis. What you find is some officers are having trouble getting the prospects out of qualification. The data will show that. They've got half their portfolio in qualification over 12 months. That's not good. Somebody else is clearing qualification, but they're having trouble getting them from mature cultivation into solicitation. So if you can get them talking and sharing, how are you clearing so many out of qualification? What are you doing to get them uh, out of uh, cultivation into solicitation? How are you closing them? You get discussions around at this level, one of the performance drivers, are we asking at the right level relative to capacity and engagement? You often find some have trouble pushing the ask levels up. So they have a prospect that should be worth $300,000 and they're, they're asking $30,000. That should be a discussion. And when the team rallies around in this kind of much more empowered uh, process, what happens is the stories come out and the field officers and the management can step up and really share the stories and help each other and coach each other along. So our talk about key metrics is all about how to move from where most of the sector is in this tactical, almost inconsequential approach to working with really tactical activities-based metrics that a process is not empowering to a much more performance driver driven approach with an empowered process that causes team transformation and improved performance. There's more information on our website. Um, just click on Advancement Advisor, go to the tutorials page, and uh, drill in. Uh, thanks for the time.